this lecture we are going to see if there are two independent variable if they have some interaction how to incorporate this effect of interaction onto the dependent variable. Before that I will explain with the help of an example what is interaction then I will construct a regression model for incorporating this regression at the end I will use the python to run the this interaction regression model. The agenda for this lecture is incorporating interaction among the independent variables to the regression model and python demo. First we will see what is interaction. If the original data set consists of observations for y and two independent variable x1 and x2, we can develop a second order model with the two predictor variables setting z1 equal to x1, z2 equal to x2 and z3 is x1 square and z4 is x2 square and z5 that is the fifth independent variable that is x1 and x2 in the general linear model equation. So, when we bring this interaction our regression equation will become like this y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 then square of the first independent variable x 1 square plus the square of second independent variable x 2 square and the interaction x 1 x 2 plus the error term. In this second order model this is called a second order regression model the variable z 5 that is x 1 and x 2 is added to the account for the potential effect of two variables acting together. This type of effect is called interaction. So, this term we say this is interaction. We will take one example problem to understand how to do interaction into the regression model. This problem is taken from this book statistics for business and economics 11th edition. A company produces a new shampoo product. Two factors believed to have the most influence on sales are unit selling price and advertising expenditure. So, there are two variable that is going to affect our sales. One variable is unit selling price, another variable is advertising expenditure. These two variables are independent variable, the sales is the dependent variable. So, in this problem setting there is one dependent variable, two independent variable. To investigate the effect of these two variables on the sales, the price of 2 dollar, 2.5 dollar and 3 dollar were paired with advertising expenditure of 50,000 dollar and 100,000 dollar in 24 test market. I will show you this data set. This is the data set you see that there are 3 level is there in the price 2, 2.5, 3. There are 2 level there in the advertising expenditure one is 50 another one is 100. So, that there will be a, a 24 different alternatives the last column is the sales. Now, we have made a summary of the previous table what the summary says when the price is 2 dollar when the advertising expenditure is 50,000 dollar this 461 says the mean sales. So, for example, in another say look at this one when the, the price of the shampoo is 2 dollar the expenditure is 100,000 dollar this was the mean of that all that combinations. So, the mean sales of 888,000 units when the price is 2 dollar and the advertising is expenditure. How it was done? Wherever there is a 2 is there, this 2, this 2, this 2, this 2 and we have to look at the corresponding sales value, this sales, this sales, this sales. So, the average of these 4 element is our 808. Similarly, the cells, the cells is nothing but the mean of that level and corresponding variable. Similarly, how we got this 461? When the price is 2, advertising expenditure is 50, what where are the combinations? This one, this 2 that means this sales, the next this one is this sales, this sales and this sales. Because the when you go next one it is going to the 100. So, the average of this value is this value is over 461. Now, look at this uh, table what says that by keeping the selling price is 2 dollar when you increase the advertising expenditure the mean value of the sales is increasing here it is increasing. The second case 
by keeping 2005 dollars as the price when you increase the expenditure 50000 dollar to 100000 dollar what is happening here your sales is increasing here although the sales is increasing this is one way by look at in another way when you find this difference between this 50000 and 100000 dollar that will show you in the next slide what will happen the difference instead of increasing it will start decreasing this is explanation for our previous slide when the price of the product is 2.5 dollar the difference in mean sale is in going back when it is a 2.5 dollar so the difference in mean sale is this 646000 dollar minus 364 this 364000 dollar this was your 280000 dollar 3 dollar the difference in mean sale is 43 so what is happening the difference in the mean is decreasing clearly the difference in mean sales between advertising expenditure of 50000 dollar and 100000 dollar depends on the price of the product in other words at higher selling price the effect of increased advertising expenditure diminishes actually what it has to do when the price of the product increases then when we go for increasing the advertising expenditure the sales also has to increase but it is not happening so so what is happening when the selling price is increasing the effect of advertising expenditure on the sale is diminishes these observations provide evidence of interaction between the price and the advertising expenditure variables i am going to interpret this mean unit sales against advertising expenditure note that the sample mean sales corresponding to the price of 2 dollar and an advertising expenditure of 50000 dollar is 461000 and the sample mean sales corresponding to the price of 2 dollar and the advertising expenditure is 808 dollar i am referring these to 461 and 808 hence the price held constant 2 dollar the difference in the mean sales between advertising expenditure of 50000 dollar and 100000 dollar is 808000 dollar minus 461000 dollar the difference is 347 we'll go to the next column when the price of the product is kept 2.5 dollar the difference in mean sale is 282000 units finally when the price is 3 dollar the difference in mean sale is 43000 units so clearly the difference in mean sales between advertising expenditure of 50000 dollar and 100000 dollar depends on the price of the product in other words at higher selling prices the effect of increased advertising expenditure diminishes what it has to happen when the price increases when the advertising expenditure also increases the sales has to increase but instead of increasing it is start decreasing so the expenditure diminishes these observations provide evidence of interaction between the price and the advertising expenditure variables first we will do the python code for that i have imported the data the price is 2 2.5 3 three level there is a advertising expenditure is 50 and 100 the sale is in terms of units that is 478 and so on when you plot the scatter plot see that there are three different levels what it says that whenever the price of the product is increasing in x1 it is increasing the sales it is not increasing the sales you see that there is a decreasing trend it has to increase why it is decreasing so there is no effect of amount spent on expenditure when x1 is increases so this graph shows that there is a effect of interaction this scatter plot shows between the advertising expenditure there are two level one is 50000 dollar another one is 100000 dollar the y axis is it is the number of scales sold in our summary table and our scatter plot we have realized that there is a interaction is between x1 and x2 when interaction between two variables is present we cannot study the effect of one variable on the response variable y independently of the each variable in other words a meaningful conclusion can be developed only 
if we consider the joint effect of both the variables having the response. So, what is this joint effect is this x1 and x2 because we have realized in that summary table that there is a interaction between both the variable x1 and x2. Here y is the unit sales in terms of units, x1 is the, the price it has 3 level, x2 is advertising expenditure it has 2 level. Now, the estimated regression equation a general linear model involving 3 independent variables that is z1, z2, z3. Here the z1 is x1, z2 is x2, z3 is this interaction variable that is x1 multiplied by x2. What we have to do? We, apart from x1, x2, we have to have a introduce another variable that is the, the product of 2 variable x1 and x2. Now, we will create a new variable that is z3 that is the product of z1 and z2. The data for price advertisement independent variable is obtained by multiplying each value of the price times the corresponding value of advertising expenditure. So, both the variable z1, z2 has to be multiplied that will be our new variable. After multiplying, now this is our output model for our interaction. So, look at the r square, r square is 0.978, x1 is our one independent variable, x2 is another independent variable, this x3 is the interaction. So, for this how we can write the regression equation minus 276 plus uh, 175 price that is our x2, then 19.7 advertising expenditure that is our x1. So, the third one is our interaction variable that is x3 that is a minus 6.08. Look at the uh, p value, p value of f statistics that is very low, the overall model is significant. For all variables x1, x2 and interaction variables, look at the p value this one, this one all are less than 0 0.05. So, the model is uh, in the each independent variable is significant variables. So, what is the new model now? Sales equal to minus 276 plus 175 price plus 19.7 advertising expenditure minus the price and advertisement. This is our interaction term. How to interpret this? Because the model is significant, the p value for the f test is 0 0.000 and the p value corresponding to the t test price advertisement is 0, 0. We conclude that interaction is significant given the linear effect of the price of the product and advertising expenditure. Thus, this regression results shows that the effect of advertising expenditure on sales depends on the price. So far, we have done some transformations on only on independent variable. For example, y equal to b0 plus b1 x1 b2 x2. Suppose x2 is a categorical variable, assume that. What we have done? If x2 can have only 2 variable say 0, 1 gender. So, we have done a modification. What modification we have done? We have introduced a dummy variable, then we have done the model. Now, there is may be a situation that your y variable also has to be transformed. Suppose the miles per gallon that is your y variable this weight is your independent variable. Suppose if you do the regression analysis for, for this data set, you see that there is a negative relationship when the weight increases the miles per gallon decreases, there is a negative relationship of scatter plot. Now, when you look at the regression model, the regression model is y equal to 56.0957 minus 0 0.0116, this is significant. Now, look at the standard residual plot. First, we will predict the residuals, then we will standardize, then we will predict the y value. Now, we will draw a graph between the predicted y value y hat and standardized residual. When you look at this, you see that there is a conical relationship. What is happening? Whenever the value of x is increases, the variance is not constant. This is violating our model. What is that model? when the variance of the error term should be same for all value of x. But now what is happening? When the value of x is increasing, there the variance also increases. So, it is not 
fitting to our assumption of our regression equation. So, this time what we have to do? We are going to take log of y. So, the y is there. So, we are going to take log of y values b 0 plus b 1 x 1. This is going to be same uh, our independent variable we are not disturbing, but for the dependent variable we are going to take log of. The purpose of taking log is that the the error term instead of getting this conical shape we may get a kind of a, a rectangular shape. So, that means the variance of the error term is going to be same. So, first what you have done? I have taken log of all independent variable that is I am calling it as capital Y. Now, this log of y is taken as the new dependent variable. After substituting this, when you look at this new variable, one is weight, the r square is increased, the f is good, the model is ok. Now, we will go for the residual plot for this. When you go for a residual plot against y hat, this is our standardized residual. So, what is happening? Now, there is no conical shape, there is a rectangular shape is appearing. So, that, but you should be very careful while interpreting the answer because it is not actual y, it is log of y. So, when you substitute the values into this, the miles per gallon estimates the obtained by finding the number of number whose natural logarithm is 3.2615. So, what we have to do? Suppose, if you substitute weight equal to 2500, we are getting log of our y value that is miles per gallon is 3.26. If you want to know the actual value, you have to take e to the power 3.26. That is why to bring you into normal term, you have to take uh, natural logarithm is 3.26 using a calculator or any exponential function using our python. We have to rising e to the power of 3.26, we will get 26.2 miles per gallon that is your original y values. There are some more nonlinear model that are how to do that one I will explain. Suppose, there may be a nonlinear relationship the power is there beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So, the expected value suppose if you substitute beta 0 is 500 it is 1.2 x. So, for this kind of model you take log of both the sides will become log of expected value of y. So, log of beta 0 plus x log beta 1 here the constant term is log of it, this can be written y dash equal to beta 0 dash plus beta 1 dash x. So, the y dash is log of E y beta 1 this is log of B 0 then beta 1 dash is log of B 1. So, this equation can be estimated with the help of this sample regression equation, but we should be very careful while interpreting you have to remember that it has to be brought into the original term. Now, we are going to do the interaction among independent variable with y with the help of this python code. So, I have imported the file name is Tyler. So, this was our uh, portion of our uh, file name. First, we will do the scatter plot. So, what is happening here? When the price of the product is increasing, see that the y variable that is a number of scales sold it is decreasing. So, this table is suggesting that there is an interaction effect between the price and the dependent variable. Look at this, these are the another independent variable that is advertising expenditure. This also shows that whenever the advertising expenditure is increasing the car sold is increasing, but it is not linearly it is increasing because there seems to be some other variable which is affecting the advertising expenditure. That variable is nothing but the price. From our scatter plot, plot number 1 and plot number 2, we realize that there is interaction effect. So, the two variable that is z 1 and z 2 are multiplied. What is our z 1 variable that is advertising expenditure, our z 2 variable is price. So, new variable is z 1 multiplied by z 2, we will do this one. Now, the third variable that is a new variable is taken as another independent variable. Now, there are three variable, one is for advertising expenditure, another variable for price, the third one is interaction among these two. So, when you run this model, 
we are getting all these three variables that is x1, x2, the x3 is our interaction variable all are it is significant. So, we can say that there is an interaction effect between x1 and x2. See our r square is better 0 0.978, our f p value also very less and individual uh, significance of each independent variable also less than 0 0.05. So, all variables are significant. Now, in our class I have explained one more problem that is how to do the transformation of our dependent variable. So, I have imported the necessary libraries our data file is this one. So, here the weight is independent variable, but the miles per gallon is dependent variable. So, when you do the scatter plot between these two there seems to be a, a negative relationship. When you do a simple linear regression uh, by taking x is weight independent variable y is, is the miles per gallon we are getting this one. So, even though the model is significant when you go for a residual plot what is happening between standardized residual and y predicted value there is a conical shape is there. So, what this implies that the value of x increases the variance of the error term is not same it is getting increased this is violation of a regression model for to compensate this we are going to do the transformation log transformation of our dependent variable after log transformation when you do again there is a regression equation. So, you look at this the third one yeah the now the new dependent variable is the log of y. So, this independent variable for this one we will go for a standardized residual plot. Now, what is happening when you go for that now there is no conical relationship then we can say that the log of transformation of dependent variable is correct we should go for log transformation of our dependent variable. In this lecture we have seen how to incorporate if there is an interaction among the independent variable how to incorporate this interaction into our regression model. We have taken one sample example when we were plotting the summary table we have realized that there is an interaction between two variables then we have taken the product of the two variable that introduces the new third variable then when you have done a multiple regression model we realize that there is a interaction is significant. In the another problem what you have seen in this class is generally we do the transformation only the independent variable, but sometime we need to do the transformation for the dependent variable also. So, what transformation we have done? We have done log of our y value before doing log of y value we have realized that the variance of the error is not same after doing the log transformation we have realized that the variance of the error term is same. So, then we have accepted that taking log of our dependent variable is correct. Thank you very much.